Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Leo, and see what's going to be happening for you in September, all right? So be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, Leo, to get the full understanding of what's happening in your life in specific. And check the top right-hand corner of your screen, darling, because I'll be uh, sending you a link uh, for the monthly pick-a-card reading for September as well, Leo. So check that out, and let's begin your tarot reading here today, Leo, starting out with the Page of Cups. Fabulous list coming in here for you as your first card leo page of cups represents new opportunities and new people entering your life pay attention to the people that you're communicating with this week here uh leo all right if someone's trying to make some small talk with you while well, i know for speaking from personal experience i don't like personally small talk leo but i feel like it, there's definitely something worth uh entertaining conversations with all right doors are starting to open up for you and it could be coming in through the sense of communication with uh people page of cups also leo represents the deepening of current connections all right so let's continue unpacking the story here the death card coming in here oh, okay all right so out with one energy and we're replacing it with a new energy with that page right because if you don't already know leo uh pages represents new energies coming into your life so you know with this closure energy of the death card you probably already have recently experienced some type of loss or been without all right it's letting you know this is very much so the cliche leo where it's like one door closes and another one's opening up for you here especially in terms of socially i see this as if you uh recently I'm moving on from a social connection i feel like you are the one that put up the boundary because you're just like you know what i got other options there are plenty of other fish in the sea here right it's funny how uh leo you're getting like the cars that really go along with all the cheesy quotes here right you have that seven of cups there so it's like you have other options there's plenty of other fish in the sea so you're not afraid of closing off a connection putting up boundaries removing your accessibility or certain people leo if, it, if the time calls for it, right? And I feel like for you, Leo, where your path is leading you to be currently is this place of like, all right, you're, you're closing off some type of chapter, all right? Something's coming to an end. You know, with the seven cups here, you'll notice each cup is filled with something different, Leo. And so let's start, exper let's start uh, experimenting, Leo. Let's not continue doing the same thing that you've always been doing, right? Especially career-wise or just trying to create further uh, financial abundance in your life, Leo. What, can, what different avenues can we be taking currently, right? what what can we uh explore let's explore this seven of pentacles more or seven of cups more with the seven three the seven of cups with this three of pentacles that came out i'm getting tongue-tied here leo and let's do one more four swords okay leo so i will be saying for you i feel like people are going to be entering your life and they're going to be providing this sense of a safe space for you uh leo going into different social settings or uh environments that you normally wouldn't go into seems to be bringing some sense of relief for you all right three of pentacles energy you know i always say with the three of pentacles that's a card of where it's like collaborations uh are very fitting right working together with other people for a similar goal all right in a social way for you leo i see this as a sense of like exploring different connections that are going to be coming in for you that are vastly different than what you're used to eight of swords energy almost like the sense of restriction for yourself here maybe it's like you don't feel like you're worthy of being in a different in like different communities like you don't fit in or you don't belong i don't know why that message is coming in all right but for you leo i just want to say it's just like don't limit yourself off of your current of like what you think is possible for you all right because because I see the doors that are going to be opening up for you are going to be coming in from places that you wouldn't normally expect. It's not stuff that you normally would consider. Let's explore this page of cups more because this is what I'm excited the most about, uh, Leo. This is the energy. Oh, and then we pull that wheel of fortune card, the moon energy. So you don't see it coming in that five of wands. Why is this five of wands here? I'll show you the cards in the moment, uh, Leo. Don't worry. Uh, okay. The full energy with the justice energy and that fool was in the reverse all right so let me start telling you what just happened here because i just unveiled your entire life story here leo and you're going to want to stick around to hear all of this because this is pretty pretty insane so clarifying your page of cups leo i was just like all right what is this opportunity looking like here if we're going to see this page of cups from a non-social standpoint all right wheel of fortune the moon energy with the five of wands when i see that wheel of fortune energy i'm just like all right again a very fitting card to be having leo 
with when you were experiencing with that death energy right so it really hones in on this message of why i'm not really intimidated whatsoever leo about having this death energy show up in your spread because it's representing a sense of like that closure and rather than just being having to feel like you need to be optimistic leo about like the next portion to come is going to be better you get these consistent affirmations with the page of cups letting you know that new opportunities are coming new people new connections are coming forward to you or even if maybe you had like a big blow up fight or misunderstanding with someone that you love the page of cups by definition represents the deepening of current things where it's like you went through a lot of hardships where you thought like yours something was like almost over that it was time to give up throw in the towel but then that this wheel of fortune comes in in such a beautiful way uh leo for you where it's like you know the wheel of fortune it can be turning against you where you're having a string of bad luck and nothing seems to be working out but when it starts turning in your favor leo that's when you start noticing things uh happening and you would see those as like miracles or blessings leo right you have this moon energy coming in here as well that i pulled for you and then this five of wands now i wanted to understand what this five of wands was about right and i'll get into that in a moment but with this moon energy i want to firstly represent this uh tell you this sense of this is representing to me where it's like for you right now leo you're probably consuming this reading today and you're just like all right Velka, like this sounds all fabulous and stuff but my foreseeable future from what i can see in the coming days i don't really see how a bunch of positive stuff could really be happening so i don't want to get my hopes up Velka. And while I understand that notion, um, Leo, let me just explain why I am still optimistic for you, because this represents the sense of where it's like and what you can see, which is not very far. Right. The moon energy represents like stuff going on beneath the surface that you're not aware about, Leo. So it's like in the foreseeable future, from what little you can see, you just see conflict or girl, you see conflict, you see the obstacles you see, you know, this is just like, this is like, this is the BS card where it's just like people in the universe is just coming at you with a bunch of BS, right? Uh, complicating things. And so I wanted to explore Leo, why we have that five of wands there. It's just like, all right, what is the significance of like the resistances, the blockages that you currently might be seeing? But also I do feel like it is representative representing like uh the journey to come of like what this story really represents and i pulled the fool card with the justice energy right so uh with these two cards here leo this represents to me where it's like you might have tried in the past to uh have like that clean slate you might have tried in the past to really um explore different options work with other people because i do feel like there's like this sense of a resistance from you leo where you're just like velka i've tried to connect to people and i just don't it never works out right i get that sense of a little bit of cynicism in that way and while i do understand that entirely leo right it's like when you deal with enough bs from people like you don't really want to and it gets to a point where she's like you know what this just isn't worth it right even the seven of wands here in the back of the deck leo it, you might have i get like the sense of where you feel tired with like the social connections you have like you have to always be the one that's like not the ringmaster but it's always as if like you're having to like be the adult in situations or damage control where it's like everyone's con you always have to answer to somebody's message because they're always trying something like i don't know there's like the sense of um just to summarize it, Leo, I get this sense of like feeling so like too much responsibility that you feel like is pressuring you when it comes to your social connections, especially family. Six of Swords here, Temperance with the Ten of Wands here in the back of the deck. So I feel like for you, Leo, you've tried to be patient. You've tried to see things through till the end. I would even argue for you, Leo, that you might have been a little bit too patient when it comes to certain situations where like you should have walked away sooner and the only thing i can really tell you leo when at least how tarot is telling this story to me here all right keep in mind tens representing closures to cycles all right and there's nothing there's no 11 of wands you know the baggage the 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 weight that you're carrying some people will see this 10 of wands as a negative way and you could see it in a negative way where it's just like too many burdens you're carrying but also you would see this as leo where it's like someone collecting all 10 wands and taking it back to their home right where it's like the completion of a harvest so you can see this in a multitude of ways here and that's how i see your story going up until this point here leo is this sense of where 
you were a little bit too patient with certain people then that made it a little bit hard for you to gain like to have a harvest you know to be able to collect like successfully collect these 10 wands like i feel like you put in so much blood sweat and tears to get the to the points that you're at now right where like certain people in your life if you didn't have them involving you like if they were not involved in your life leo you would have been like so much like you would have gotten it done so much quicker but i feel like in the coming days for you leo like the only message i can say with this is like i feel like this energy is a little bit different here all right the fool and the justice i feel like the energy is a little bit different with this here with this new energy that is coming in for you i feel like how you started how you approach this death energy because i do feel like you are the one that's in control of like closing out some type of cycle i feel like there's like i don't like I don't know i just consistently get this impression of where it's like you are in the one that's calling the shots about this like you're making the choice leo of like allowing something to be as relevant as it is or isn't in your life here right and so i see you finally putting a closure to a cycle breaking the pattern breaking the routine with something and then that's what unlocks the uh that is the key that needed to have uh that you needed to get to leo to unlock the door to uh bring in this new energy to finally uh bring some reprieve to that block that you've been going through and so that's why i don't want you to have too much cynicism leo for the coming energies that will be stepping forward in your life because it does seem to be like it's not it's not what you've had to deal with in the past there's some element leo of where it's just like not the type of energy not the usual crowds of people that you've been around it's not the usual type of stuff that you would entertain not the usual type of projects right they're not the usual type of ideas that you would usually entertain but it's those new things that you normally wouldn't entertain that you would be really happy about ace of swords energy taking forward action with these creative ideas with these new inspirations even though it's completely foreign to you uh leo right and i know that might sound like a little bit irresponsible all right king of swords energy you might initially see this being like oh, i don't want to be irrational i don't want to make the wrong choice what have you but the king of swords darling right the king of swords is holding that ace of sword firmly in their hand they have it under control leo have more have more faith in your intelligence and be able to handle the path to come even though you don't see everything that's going to be coming for you you can handle it absolutely without question here leo you just have to have a little bit more faith in yourself this is the epitome of like in the coming days like being out of your comfort zone is the most positive sign for you so if you are in, when you are uncomfortable here in the feud in the coming days leo take that as a sign of being like oh velka told me about this i'm progressing my path see it as a green light final tarot cards here chariot strength your energy with these seven of pentacles coming in here all right oh it's kind of funny we have this right because this is your energy right the strength card is your card leo right this is your test this is your challenge and when you are able to tame the beast when you're able to really fully own yourself as the leo you are right continuing nurturing the things that you've been nurturing here all right, cherry energy. That's when the fast progression happens for you. Your path is about to be picking up. Things are speeding up in your life here, Leo. All right. Um, this is really like one of those times of where it's like, I see movement happening. This is, you want to have, you know, what makes me think about this, Leo, is like, uh, you know, I don't know why I think about this currently, but it's like, you know how people will have like their pregnancy bag, their labor bag to the hospital because you don't know at any point in time when you're about to go into labor. So you need to have that hospital bag ready to go. And I feel like that's kind of your thing right now, Leo, where it's like you want to have like everything packed up, everything organized in your life, Leo, ready to go for um, your life that is going to be coming here in the few in the coming days. All right. So let's do your Oracle cards here, Leo. <clears throat> Let's see what's going to be happening. Be sure, Leo, if you did enjoy this tarot reading, to give this video a like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. All right. Uh, so you have the Horseman card, Herald of Change, the Horseman. Very fitting, right? Herald of Change, number three numerology, Leo. So be sure to write that down. Herald of Change for you. All right. I feel like that's this is who you are. You are the embodiment of the Herald of Change. You're taking that Ace of Swords and you're going forward with these ideas. You know, with that cherry energy being reminiscent with that horse there as well. All right. You are the herald of change. You are the one that initiates the change. Spirit is the one that just helps refine it for you. All right, Leo. So let's continue on with your oracle cards here. We're going to do your animal oracle card next. 
And if you did enjoy this here today, Leo, uh, be sure as well, I'm going to remind you about my monthly pick a card reading. All right. I like to do the pick a cards for the monthlies because it just feels more personal and fun. Tortoise card. You're too fragmented at this time. So do whatever it takes to get grounded. I actually feel like this is what you, this is the journey that you've been on up until this point, Leo, because I feel like you already have been actively piecing yourself up together. That's why we had that strength card come in for you. All right. You're doing the work. And once you finish putting yourself back together, together leo all right that's when you herald the change so don't take this tarot reading and play apply pressure to yourself leo and be like all right i gotta be i gotta do things yesterday right you know make sure that you're fully put together before you take action just understand that you are going to be taking action after you put yourself together if you haven't already because i feel like this has been like something that you already have actively been working on leo so let's get your quote for the day all right your mantra for the day leo and i'll send you off on your way all right darling be sure to let me know how this tarot reading resonated with you in the comments below all right so leo the moment i realign with love clear to girl <laughs> <laughs> the moment I realign with this card, honey. All right. The moment I realign with love, Leo, clear direction is presented to me. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. So what does this really mean, Leo, right? You unpack like the corny new age, like overly optimistic aspect about this mantra. It's still cute, right? Nothing wrong with it, but it is a little bit, okay, like what do we really do with this, right? And so how I see this as personally is realigning loving yourself because i feel like that's the ultimate practice of self-love stay with me here because i know it's not going to get corny for too much longer but you notice again i keep bringing up that strength energy for you leo and it's like the ultimate act of self-love is putting up boundaries the ultimate act of self-love is walking away right and so i feel like this realignment with love is like realigning how much love you are giving to other people that was you being a just by you doing a disservice to yourself right by you giving more love to people you started self-sacrificing so you no longer were loving yourself as much and so that's why i see this as more so is where it's like the more that you start loving yourself the more that everything starts becoming clear for you because you're no longer trying to carry that baggage from stuff that is really just limiting you right you are closing the chapter death energy to begin the fool's journey only this time when you begin that fool's journey you're coming at this from a more empowered place a new version of yourself when you start that clean slate with number zero there right leo so i love you so much darling this is a weekly tarot reading that i have for you leo be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus sign and i'll talk to you later darling bye leo